Hey everybody, so today we are building the paddocks for our horse barn in Minecraft. So first I started off with doing 10 blocks from the barn um, so we could put a pathway there. And then I'm going to show you how I do my fences. So um, the logs are from the Star Room Decor mod. Um, in vanilla I usually use uh, fence posts but I just prefer the look of the logs. Um, and then three blocks for the gate. You can do as long as you want. I just, I don't know why I went with three. And then the first paddock is 10 by 10. So we just went 10 sets of three and go down. And then here I'm just checking that it is um, big enough for the swim um, standards. For one horse is 15 blocks by 15 blocks. And we have four horses, so um, it is a bit small. The second one is 10 by 15. Um, And so we just fill in the spots with the white coated chains like that and it looks like electrical fencing. And then we went 10 this way and then just connected on the other side. Alright, now that our pasture is complete with the fencing, I um, originally was going to use lanterns, but then I didn't like how it looked, so I remembered you could use the Star Worm lighting blocks, and it will place a light block underneath, and that'll keep the logs flat how they are. And then here I'm just putting in the hay feeders and the water trough and um, trying to put some hay down so it looks like they spilled it um, and some enrichment items because I follow a lot of R plus Instagram influencers um, and they recommend having food all over the pasture so your horses like walk around and get the enrichment and the exercise. I remember that they need a run in because if it rains or something. Um, so this is me building that. And then I was like, oh, I should probably record this. But just fell in the roof. And I ended up um, realizing later on, I still haven't, I don't think I filled the sides in, but it's open on every side. So it's not much of a shelter if it's completely open. So I'm probably gonna close the little end archways. Um, you know, and hopefully they don't try and kill each other on their way out of the, <laughs> out of the run-in. So nobody hogs it and the other horses get all rained on. But just fill in the roof.
right, so here I start filling in the sides of the shed and originally I had it pretty square and then I decided I wanted to do um, archways and then I couldn't decide what like size archway so I changed this around a lot um, but I'm gonna end up filling in those four side walls anyway so that it's actually a shelter instead of just a big open covering. It's not really protective from the wind and the snow and such. Um, and then here we're decorating the inside. And I was like, oh, we'll have like the gates and it'll like open up and let the tractor through. And then I was like, well, that's not gonna work because the third gate like looks off. And then I was like, no, nah, I'll just leave it closed because I don't like the look of the separators. Um, and the horses can still get over those unless you have a barrier block. I just prefer the look of the uh, gates, honestly. And then I'm gonna do the archways and then change it around 15,000 times. And then still not like it anyway. Um, and then I'm gonna decorate this pasture with you guys. So this one is going to be their main pasture. It's um, 10 by 15. I didn't do the exact math, but it should be big enough for four horses. Um, and then I'm gonna use a smaller one like in the winter and stuff. So here I was just checking out how I decorated the first one um, to get an idea of how I should decorate the second one, and then I started filling the paddock with uh, the feeders, and I decided to put these ones in the corner like they were hanging up, um, and it, it doesn't look too bad. And then I did want to do like a little um, thing, so it looked like they had a little like bed of hay in there, um, and then I ended up not liking it anyway, so I did change it around a little bit. But you know how horses are, they pull out the hay and make a big mess, and there's always like a big ring of dirty hay. My friend has a um, round bale holder, and there'll be a huge circle around the bale that is like dirty hay and poop, and it's ridiculous how much hay they pull out. Um, and I don't know why I had like a vendetta against flowers in the pasture for some reason. <laughs> um, and then I thought like this one will be like their winter one so it will be more overgrown during the summer or whatever. <clears throat> and then I started doing the um, ground work and like the pathways um, and this side was where I was trying to do like the, they have a little bed in here but um, I ended up changing it around because it was too much thatch slabs so it looked kind of weird I'm very particular and also indecisive about um, this type of stuff I'm like something's off but I don't know what it is so you need another piece of gravel nope too much gravel you need another piece of dirt nope that's too much dirt
And then for this um, entrance, I wanted to make it look like it had more gravel on it. Um, and that the other one was like more worn down and old. Um, and again, I'm just indecisive about things. So I was like, I don't know what to do. But it ended up looking alright. I do move around a lot and Honestly, I made myself motion sick watching this, so I like I slowed it down, but I didn't want it to be like too long of a video, you know. Um, and here I was going around randomly placing holes, and then you know you fly around it ends up being in like a line anyway, even though you try and like sporadically um, place blocks, and it still ends up being in like a weird line, uh, but I just wanted to make it look like they had a little like path around the paddock, you know, that they wore out, um, and then this is my favorite part honestly, is around the um, hay feeders because it's just like, oh look there's all the old hay and then I was so proud of myself for using the pressure plate to add like some texture to it. Um, I was like look at me I'm so smart. <laughs> but again I am indecisive so I was like is that too much grass it looks weird. And then I was like gonna replace it with that and then this and no oh, that looks bad this looks weird everything's weird. <laughs> I ended up turning out alright. And then, of course, you know, the classic buttons as rocks, and I just flew around and, again, placed them randomly, but then ended up placing them in a line because that's how it goes. And then I was like, there's too many similar color buttons, we gotta replace it with another button. <laughs> Too many buttons too close to each other <laughs> the only problem is um, especially with the like mossy cobblestone ones is the poop is about that same size so it's like is that a rock or is it a poop the classic game of is this a rock or is this a turd covered in dust played that game too many times broken a lot of pitchforks And, you know, the classic struggle of, is this too many similar blocks close to each other? You know, like, it looks weird. And then I just place ferns, again, in a line, because, you know, you try and fly around sporadically, and it still ends up making them close to each other. And then, you know, screw the flowers. We don't need flowers in here. They're just going to eat them and then give themselves colic, so don't need that. <laughs> and then too much grass. You know, this is their this is their main paddock, so it's gonna be worn down. Um, and then I tried to leave the front more uh, open so that they could like run around instead of versus the smaller one being like mostly trees. I'm just going crazy with the grass today. Goodness. And then deciding I don't like it and deleting all of it anyway, but... And then I just wanted to check that everything was good, and then I was like, I need to change these walks around and then do this hay net. I think I'm almost done. <laughs> You know your videos are boring when you're sick of watching them. I mean, I have to edit it, so I have to watch it like 50,000 times anyway. So it does get pretty annoying after a while. 
I'm definitely not recording this voiceover again because I'm too lazy and I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, almost done. Almost there. Just gonna, you know, put the dirt back in the ground properly. <laughs> so it looks a certain way because that makes sense. <clears throat> I thought I got over COVID and I still have a sore throat. Yep, see, too much thatch. And then I was like, too much dirt. <laughs> I thought I put gravel over here. Apparently I didn't. Um, and then I decided to, you know, do the grain feeder too, because I figured they'd be in front of that a lot and then like, kind of try and connect it to the um, other path. Yeah, it didn't it didn't work well. <laughs> to the horses being in there and they just kind of stand around honestly like I've never seen them move much but I think they did enjoy it they definitely pooped a lot they were out there for five minutes and the entire thing was covered in poop and pee literally everywhere it was crazy yeah they just kind of like stand around they're pretty boring <laughs> They do have some cute animations though, like the little tail swish right there. And the little itchies. The itchies are so cute. Alright, that's gonna be it.